Guys, wait till you hear this story. Guys, we're here with Grady Hall. He's currently winning the championship point series for the J-Day Open. Um, is it A Open or? A Open, yeah. A Open, which is the fast guys. And he's got a big points lead. And thanks to 6D, he's going to maintain that because he almost died this weekend. He, this helmet is cracked vertically, horizontally. It's completely freaking destroyed like a cracked egg, like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. The side of it mangled it. Grady, we're glad you're okay. This just happened this weekend, right? Yeah, yep. I was uh, just free riding, not racing. And uh, I was doing a hill climb, you know, with my buddies. And um, I ended up jumping down into the soft sand, when bu got bucked off the front, and head first into a rock. And uh, oh, You're in the sand and you hit the only rock out there. Yeah. yeah right. my, <laughs> That's my, something Junior would do. My head feels fine. No concussion, no headache, nothing. Um, my neck is obviously hurting just because that's what took all the blow, but... The, the, the 60 helmet has an omni direction. I have to go on their website for, oh, yeah. for a technical description, but it actually flexes like six ways. Um, and the shell actually got crushed on yours, which took the hit that your brain would have taken in. Right. So you don't have a concussion. You're good nope, to go. Nothing. Not a headache. Nothing. That's freaking remarkable. Smash himself. Now, Junior, yeah. that was kind of what uh, ended your career a little bit early. When you were, how many concussions did you have riding? Several. Yeah, hey, you're racing dirt bikes and pushing hard. Yeah, you know, sometimes. And the last time, down. didn't you spend like two weeks? Uh, they told you you had to stay in a dark room for like yeah, two weeks. There's a couple of bad ones, you know. But before, especially before we uh, swapped to 6D, you know, without the mix, even just the sound when you hit the ground, it just concusses throughout the helmet, and it, it's, uh, you know, it can be bad. So. So the first time you wore a 6D helmet, I was a little skeptical. I was like. Back in the day, it was 10, 10 years ago when they first came. I was like six hundred yeah. bucks, six hundred fifty bucks back then was a lot of money for a helmet. I was like, yeah. I don't know. So, and you had just come off your third concussion, so we got you the six D, uh, recommended highly by some of our people that on our inner circle that really believe in the six D product. Yeah. And you launched it all over the biggest jump at the compound. Yeah, we and, had we had like a berm to berm jump. It was like a big roller. Hit it six gear tapped on the one twenty five, and on the lip of the jump, my foot peg got uh, snagged by the grass. And it shot me basically straight over the bar, six gear, wide open with stock gearing on a 125. So it was probably like 55, 60 miles an hour. And uh, just laying it head first, basically. Just like a, you know, Zach Bell, you know, 2011, you know, yeah, yeah, over, yeah, the, yeah. over the triple head first on the ground, and got up and was fine. Wow. So, and then we uh, destroyed the helmet. Yeah, destroyed the helmet, and we never, we ne we never uh, went to another helmet. We've been through, how many have you been through since then? Uh, Got to be a, a dozen. Yeah. Yeah, over the years. You know. I know. I know. We got a. I have a, a few that I that I in the showroom that I that I uh, don't use. I have my my latest one. I don't believe in helmets. Use helmets once they're four or five years old. I think there's an expiration date on them. Actually, isn't there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Five years. That's yeah. what they say. So so let's open up your new one here. Bob Weber at sixty has been hooking us up with these helmets. Are direct with sixty have been for years. The unboxing. Yep. Fresh, top quality. Right here. She is ATR2 new colorway 2024 style here. Yeah, so our friend Darren down at 6D hooked Grady up with this thing. Look at that, that is sharp. That matches your gas gas, too, right? Yeah. Freaking badass, bro. Beautiful. Yes. That is beautiful. They even swapped in the cool pads for him, yep. straight from straight from the factory. So, nice, nice. Yep. Yeah. So, how many races left to wrap up your 2023 championship? I believe there's four more races left for the J Day. Uh, might do a couple, uh, you know, in Netras or uh, NESCs or something like that, just yeah. to keep me busy. But excellent, excellent. Yeah. What are your plans for 24? Uh, 24. Um, if I can make the top 15 cutoff at, uh, in the pro overall this year, I'm a, I'm gonna try and move up to the pro class and uh, give it hell from there. Yeah, give her hell. That's awesome. So what are you riding this year, and what are you riding next year? Uh, this year, I started on the 2023 MC 252 stroke, and I halfway through the season, I moved to the M uh, EX 354 stroke, and uh, just got very comfortable on that, and uh, not really sure when I'm ride next year. It's uh, still up in the air. That's awesome. Well, good luck with your new helmet. Good luck with your new bike, and we're looking it. forward to cheering you on yeah, to your next you championship. Just another look at the helmet you crushed this weekend. The proof's in the pudding, guys. It's cracked this way. It's cracked that way. It's cracked this way, and there's a big chunk of, of the, I think it's gel coat. I'm not really sure what the finish is that's missing on it. But yeah, um, in the front, too, if you look. Yeah. Yeah. Protected wow, your, dude. you might have knocked your teeth out. Oh, my out. God. 
So, so still got all his teeth. Yeah. Is it looking good? Right there, cut right there. Yeah, so yeah. in an impact like this, the fiberglass shell is supposed to crack and give on impact, you know, so that there's a little bit yeah. more flex. But the, the big thing here is he walked away without a major head injury. With, with no head. symptoms other than the cut on your face. Yeah, exactly. Did you get stitches or no? No, just, you know, it's healed, naturally healed. So Grady's a union guy. He's working third shift, and he's a he's a diesel mechanic. Diesel mechanic yeah. So. He's busting his ass at there, and then up. going out so winning every weekend. This guy's working third shift Saturday night, driving straight to the track up to Maine or, or wherever no every weekend with no sleep. He's got to stay sharp, and you know, yeah. so you're not going to miss around because nope, you're wearing good equipment. Yep, exactly. Yeah, you know, if I was concussed, I probably would have missed around it too. You know, if you're looking for a 60, give Junior a call 860-454-7024, Monday through Friday, nine to five East Coast type. We ship these things worldwide. Uh, we've got a great relationship with Bob Weber and the team at 60, and they come in all different colorways. If you like black, white, and red, they've got that. That's particularly sharp. Look at that. Freaking awesome. Uh, they, they do street bike helmets, too. I was just talking to Billy Blythe about that. They have matte finishes. Go on their website. That's the TLD stuff at the bottom. That's, but. that's Troy Lee Design, yeah. 6D. We do carry Troy Lee Design and Gas Gas helmets also, but this is what's on my head for sure. 6D. In addition to helmets, we've got the full lineup of 2024 gas gases in stock and the e-bikes doing a project bike for Christy. Stay tuned for that. Um, we're customizing one of these to fit her perfectly. And of course, the trials bike, Billy Blythe, is winning the 2023 Netra Senior A hair scrant, uh, trial, excuse me, trials class. Billy Blythe, he's a resident expert trials rider. So we've got a lot, of, a lot of guys in the winter circle this year on these gas gas and a lot of guys out having fun on them like Jordan and me, right George? Hell yeah. So whether you're looking for a play bike or a beginner bike for your kid or an electric bike, we got you covered. Give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless America. This is our new 125 demo. Uh, I haven't really talked about this publicly yet, but we're actually sponsoring Neville Bradshaw in the Northeast Regional Vet Championship. He's coming over from the UK and he's going to be riding a brand new 2024 Gas Gas MC250 that we're have in fact your connection do up the suspension for them. So stay tuned for that. Huge Neville Bradshaw fan. If you're into 500s or two-stroke motocross at all, he uh, kind of put the 500 back on the map, on map overseas and won an amateur championship, big races on a 1991 CR500. Now he's on a two-stroke gas gas, keeping the dream alive. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like and subscribe. God bless America.